a desperate attempt to save lives. Overstretched and overworked. Medical staff at Kharkiv Regional Clinical Hospital are under unprecedented pressure. The intensive care unit is filled with victims of this war. I haven't treated civilians with combat injuries before. I'm overwhelmed with the amount of cases. Sometimes we receive 10 people from one location, but we've learned to do it quickly, provide aid. It's our experience that counts. They work under constant threat to their own lives. We are standing here and listening to the sound of shelling. I don't know where it will hit. The hospitals in Balaklia and Zolochev are destroyed. In Lozova, hospitals don't work anymore. We don't know what will be today. If the bomb lands, the hospital will no longer exist. The children's hospital is destroyed. The center for blood donation operates from the basement. Many of these people were in their homes when they were hit by shrapnel. The shelling was intense. Then it stopped, then it started again. Three people were killed immediately. I'm the only one that survived, but have all these injuries. What are the kind of injuries that you're seeing? Downstairs, there are more patients. One of the most, uh, Sasha's leg has been amputated. You know, uh, actually, there was a lot of patients with uh, serious uh, injuries right here, but the, this boy is the most strong will from all of them, because mostly of them are crying, uh, asking for saving their legs and uh, arms, but he was the only one who said, just do what you think you need to do. So this is a real warrior, still hard. And he has one message for the world. Close the sky about Ukraine and Russia. These wards are filled with casualties from this war. Here most of patients are after artillery. It's not because most of patients was wounded by artillery. It's just because most of patients after aircraft are dead. So this is the most hard patient of... Uh, In another ward we find Yevgeny Telashko. He threw his body over his eight-year-old son when he heard explosions. His son was unharmed. Um, traveling above his uh, chest and then go out here. He was struck by shrapnel. The piece of shrapnel that we see here. We're shown pieces of shrapnel by the staff. This tiny piece killed a woman. By staying here, we are defending our families and working for victory. We are together. We are in a common cause. This is my bed. One. For the staff here, this is their life. They sleep in the corridors to stay Two. close to their patients and hope the walls will protect them Three. if the hospital is hit. Four. And you sleep in the corridor? Yep. Patients like Sasha and medical staff here have all asked for the same thing. Oblivious of the politics around it, they want the airspace over Ukraine and this city closed because it's the damage done from the bombs that are dropped from planes that are causing the most casualties. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Kharkiv.